Hi guys, this is Danny from Dark Travel. Uh, we're going to be going to the Kruger National Park and we are calling this one Kruger in a Camper. We are going to do it with a camper. And uh, I want to quickly show you on the map uh, where we will be heading just so that you have a, a bit of an idea. So just come closer so I can show you. The map is basically, or the Kruger Park is basically like this. It's quite a, a big area. And uh, we will be going in in the in at Palabova Gate and doing the central part of the park. We've done the northern parts previously, but we're going to be focusing on this area here. So I just want to flip the map over, so you can see the big map here. And you will see there's Palabova Gate, which is where we will enter. We're going to drive all the way, all the way, all the way to Lataba Rest Camp. We're going to spend three, four nights there, and then we're going to take a, a trip down the tar road. This is a tar road, the red one. The yellow ones are all gravel. Uh, dirt roads. We're going to come all the way down to the picnic site here at Timbavati, uh, right there. Then we're going to go down further down to, uh, let me just get that spot quickly to, where is that now, to Satara. And then from Satara we're going to come north again. Can you believe it? I've lost that one now. Where is that one? All you find, we're going to come down to Satara, which is just down here. And then we're going to head back up again. We're going to go into Willyfants. A uh, beautiful viewpoint point of all the funds, and then we're going to go back to Lataba, and then we're going to go back home again. So, would you uh, care to join us on this trip of ours? So, let's do it. Jump in. Let's go. Okay, so let's hit the road, Jack. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Right, we are saying goodbye to Glen Paradise Lodge. This is where we live in Limpopo province in South Africa. We are hitting the road all the way to Kruger National Park. As we as we leave, you will see <laughs> on our own property we have some game. Uh, my, you might just see them as we get out. Yeah, you can see there we have some impala, there's nyala, there's some zebra at the back there. So that is where we live. Very fortunate to live here. And now we go to Kruger to go and do some more game watching and relaxing. Yeah. Okay, so we're finally out of the gate here at uh, Play Paradise and then we're going to hit the tar road. So the road from uh, Polakwane where we are towards uh, Kruger National Park, it's 230 kilometers from us, a very good tarred road. And uh, we will be heading through the Mahubas Kloof mountain range, which will take us from the high felt down into the low felt with a lower altitude. And you will see it becomes a bit more tropical when we go through the Mahubas Kloof. It's a really beautiful, beautiful place. That little town there is called Heinitzburg. It's one of those quiet little towns that offers so much and uh, so many things to see there. Absolutely worthwhile a stop to take at the um, Heinesburg little town. And then we go through the Mahubas Kloof mountain range and we will right, stop off stop here at Sanin. Which is just when you come out of the Mahubas Kloof mountains. My wife just ran, Lazelle just ran into the mug and bean to get us a nice cabbage.
so just as we entered the park we ran into this guy and he just walked into the road and started coming towards us and we just put the car in reverse and we started reversing and reversing and reversing probably for more than a kilometer no maybe not a kilometer but it felt like that and uh, we were just not going to take a chance for uh, this guy is a big fella and i don't want the motor or my camper to be erect on the very first day of our trip so we were just giving him some space until he finally chose to walk away into the bush and we could continue our journey. So uh, we took the very first turn off to the very first dam that we got as we got into the park because uh, there's a specific sound that is, to me, it's the very best sound in the African bush. And that is the, the call of the fish eagle. And we thought just maybe we will see one of them here at the water. And lo and behold, we were not disappointed at all. Hello. 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 <laughs> There's our old uh, wagon. We have just arrived at the Litaba camp. When you arrive here, you have to go to reception, which is there. We've just done that. And now we're heading to camp to set up our camp. Yeah, at Letoma, a rest camp. So let's do it. Good morning. What is nice about the Lataba camp that we are in is that it has this lovely walkway all the way um, past the riverbank. And it's, uh, it's so great to see animals uh, right from the comfort of the camp. So what we have here is the uh, restaurant shop. Letaba used a really nice one and then three years ago, two, three years ago, it burned down completely. It was a thatch roof building and uh, it does not seem like they are going to replace it or repair it. Instead, they've built this, uh, this new building that was put up here a few months ago. This is actually the new shop at Letaba. And uh, it's well stocked. There's nothing wrong with that. There's charcoal, there's briarwood, 
there is meat for on sale, there's uh, various things that we can buy in here. So there's no problem really in my opinion for having this uh, temporary shop which has become a, a permanent one and that is the ice cream that I'm after right there, the almond. That will be my treat for the day. So when we continue around uh, Letaba, we will see that this is kind of in the in the entrance. Uh, the building on the left hand side is where we have uh, an educational center where people can just go through there and learn various things about animals. Um, it's an environmental educational center. Uh, we're not going to go in there for now. We are instead going to head down to the restaurant and the cafeteria. I just want to give you a quick look to show you what it looks like at this cafeteria restaurant. It's really good. Uh, the staff is brilliant. It's clean. It's really in such good condition. Something we can be very proud of. And uh, the beautiful thing about this restaurant is that it looks, it, it, uh, when you sit down, you can sit down either inside or outside on the patio yeah. and it overlooks the river, the Letaba River, which is an absolute plus and a big bonus because down at the river is where you can actually see so many animals coming to graze right there on those plains, impala, lots of waterbuck, lots of bird life in this area. The bird life is just incredible here at Letaba. And then, uh, when we move from there, this walkway that we have here, it goes right around the, uh, the camp, which is really such a big bonus. Uh, these are the ablution facilities, which is spotlessly clean, beautiful for ladies on the one side, males on the other side. And those little round buildings there, it's called a rondavel. Round, rond, rond, round, rondavel. And uh, there's a lot of them, there's hundreds of them for rent here at the tower. They have AC, and this is a camp kitchen when uh, you camp or you can use a camp kitchen for you when you want to there's two plate burners there's a microwave there is a place to wash your dishes it's available for anybody in the camp to just use them it's always beautiful and spotless clean and then there's also a water boiler for those who would like to uh, have quick hot water on demand that is the hot water boiler right there and uh, yeah, the camp is absolutely beautiful and if you sit down on this walkway here you will find so many birds, squirrels just coming right past you. And here comes the rest of the family joining us and uh, we are going to uh, take a ride in the camper and they have the binoculars and they are just ready to do some bird watching. There comes the little brother as well and uh, we have binoculars so we can see the squirrels and the birds and uh, we're gonna take our day trip right now and we're gonna say let's take a trip and go uh, for a ride Hello. <laughs> we come <in. laughs> Oh, you're a little bit on the yet now. We have arrived at number Vati picnic spot. This is the area where you're allowed to park your car and climb out. Uh, there's not fenced, so you must be kind of on the lookout, because uh, right down in the riverbed there was a lot of elephants grazing, and there was zebra on the other side of the of that dry riverbed right there. But there's kind of a place where we climb out. There's some some gas burners for you to uh, rent if you don't have your own one. And you just come join together and have a bit of a meal, and then you can carry on to the to the next camp again. And so what we have done, we spent a bit of a brunch here and then we head back off and we went to the next camp which was Satara camp. And as we uh, drive into Satara camp, uh, it's, uh, it's clearly seen that Satara is a really a busy camp. A lot of people, because of its uh, where it is in the park, many, it's, many people love to come here for a day drive. And you will see it's quite a busy camp and uh, every camp as uh, shops like this one's a reception 
and then you'll see the sighting boards that they have up at almost every single camp so people would come here and they will show on this board where did they see lion elephant leopard whatever so that can help other people so the, the guys who drive out for the early morning drive they come back and they put on their little blue and green and little thing is there on the board so that it will just help other people to also do so that's the shop shop and uh, it's absolutely a, a beautiful well oiled machine working very well so we headed back to uh, on the way to Letaba from Satara and we found this uh, these elephants crossing the road here and it was quite a, a nice sight so we made a stop and we just enjoyed the view of such a nice big herd of elephant with some babies amongst them crossing the road, road here making their way to the river uh, where the water was on our right hand side. So this would take us to uh, to elephant camp <coughs> which which would be this one here which is on the way to Letaba. Now the elephant camp uh, is called elephant's camp because on the banks of the elephant river and uh, it is the camp that has probably the best view of all the camps in the park and uh, we're gonna have a look at this view right now it's the absolutely beautiful view where you can see the elephant river from uh, from an amazingly beautiful viewpoint once again sighting board like we said previously with the previous camp shops beautiful restaurant sitting down area and then when you walk out on the side you will you will actually come to the viewpoint which is absolutely a, a stunning place to see Guys, we have come to the end of our little excursion in Kruger National Park and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was absolutely great. It's been a four day, four day trip. 
we went uh, we are just busy leaving the park now we just come to make a quick detour here at the Latava River we stayed at the Latava camp we also uh, visit Willifan's camp and Satara camp as you might have seen and we were at the Timbavati uh, picnic spot that's the places we visited so great we're heading back home with very heavy hearts <laughs> we would like to stay a little bit longer but it was great to be with you guys Cheers. Hey, Jala. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Good. Chop, chop, man. Johannes. Chop. End of the journey for us.